what's going on guys welcome to my first ever redmi note 5 video and in today's video we are going to be installing android 9.0 pi with almost everything working on your redmi note 5 the wins now if you don't already know i bought this device like a month and a half ago and i haven't made any video on it yes it took like two weeks to unlock this device and then i just forgot i used it as my media device because it has a beautiful display as i was working with one plus six so yeah those who guys actually asked my thoughts on it pretty amazing phone for the price again it's the most comfortable phone from if you compare it to the redmi y2 and the redmi note 5 pro i haven't checked the mi 2 it's not available yet but this is the most comfortable of the lot yes it's like i don't know why but it's much easier to use this phone it's also not slippery as redmi note 5 pro which is a bit weird and now everyone knows where my redmi note 5 pro is i don't know how much time it will get to fix it but yeah until then you guys will get redmi note 5 video so let's just take a look first of all as you can see i have just booted my phone for this video and the fingerprint scanner works completely because many of you guys actually told me that my fingerprint scanner doesn't work at all my fingerprint scanner doesn't work after a reboot my wife ran away well all the things have been taken care of i can't tell about your wife but let's just take a look so first of all the normal ui it completely looks like a pixel xl as we are using a pgsi well many of you guys actually told me to just wait for a normal rom but normal rom would be actually based off aosp which is not fun at all and again we are getting a complete google experience over here so yeah no issues at all in there you have more services such as uh, tips and support over here than digital well-being again all fully working as you can see if you want to extend your battery life it has some amazing features and then again the ui just completely beautiful smooth and slick looks beautiful on our wins then again the google camera wasn't actually working great for many of the people the settings were crashing again the portrait mode and stuff was already broken so only redmi note 4 has an advantage but over here we are going to be using a mi2 camera yes the portrait mode is over here but it's not actually working right now so no use at all but almost everything works from the 4k recording to the complete manual usage so yeah no bugs at all you also get manual focusing and stuff so pretty great over there from the developers and then again i have almost covered everything about android pi in my developer 5 beta video if you want more info about it you can check it over here by pressing the i button but right now we will just take a look at the installation so first of all basic requirements over here are a unlocked bootloader on your redmi note 5 and a pc once you're on your pc you will need all these 15 files yes you will need everything of this in order to get this working so first of all starting with the imgs you will have the pr1 img which is the actual rom then the vendor and the boot IMG. Now these things will be inside a zip like this. You have to just extract it out. Also we'll be just extracting the recovery. Just like this. Just keep the recovery inside the ADB folder. And as you have now already unlocked your phone. You must be knowing how to get into the fast boot mode. So first of all for that press your power and volume down at the same time. Just like that. Connect the phone to your PC. As you can see my ADB folder is already open. Open CMD. And type in fast boot devices. Hit enter. As you can see, my device has been successfully connected. Then type in fast boot flash recovery. Again, recovery.img. Hit enter. Now this will flash a custom orange fox recovery. Now we are not using the normal top recovery because it doesn't have enough features for our Redmi Note 5. So we will be using this. And then let's just close these things. Head on to your phone and press volume up and power at the same time until it shows the MI logo. Now once you have unlocked your bootloader, it actually resets your phone. So I hope you have taken a complete backup because you are wiping your phone. So go to wipe, format data, type in yes. This will remove the encryption from MIUI. Hit enter, go home, go to wipe again, go to advanced wipe and wipe everything, not just the USB storage or the micro SD card. Swipe to wipe. And now your phone will be automatically up there with internal storage. As you can see, it's completely clear. There is nothing in it. And now you have to copy all of these files. So first of all, the system IMG the vendor and the boot IMG. And then again, few of you guys actually asked me where are these post zips, like the post one, two and three. Now this post zips will be with the GSI in one link. You don't have to actually download the PR1 AB partition. That's only for the MI1 or devices like one plus six. You don't need that. You only need the A only and these three post GSI. So we'll be just copying everything over here. Now just press unlock, go to install. Now, first of all, you will be installing the actual system. So go to install image, PR1, Select as system image, swipe to install. Now again, if you talk about the performance, it's pretty much same to the Redmi Note 4 with the Vulkan API 1.2. It's much faster than the Mi 10, but you won't be seeing any kind of huge gains when compared to the Redmi Note 5 Pro video, cause we were actually using a custom kernel in it. Install successful, go back. Install vendor for vendor image. That's pretty self-explanatory. Then boot for boot. Now, once these three files are done, you have to actually reactivate the partitions. Now for that, you have to go to home, reboot, 
recovery and now once we are into the recovery again go to mount and mount system and vendor just mount everything go to install and now we will be just installing the patches so first of all post 1 add more zips post 2 add more zips post 3 add more zips lag fix cause even though our phone is new the chipset is 2 years old add more zips also in order to get the mi2 camera working camera api plus whatsapp fix add more zips Volti fix we will just flash this and now we will be rooting our phone. Now again in order to do that you have to reboot the recovery. This is just kind of necessary in order to activate all the partitions. Once you are into the recovery again go to install. Select magic 16.6. This is the custom made for treble. Swipe to install. And you are basically done. You have successfully installed Android Pi 9.0 on the Redmi Note 5. Now the first boot will take around 2 to 3 minutes. It's pretty fast so I will just take a cup of tea. And just after a minute we are back. So first of all let's just take care of these stupid notifications. So for that we will need a custom Google Play services. So we will be installing by going to the files. Go over here, show internal storage, Redmi 5 Plus. Yes everything has been fixed. You guys also asked me whether the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth actually works at the same time. Cause they are pretty needed in some of the apps if you take example share it. So yeah definitely works taken care of that so that's why I delayed this video so much and then again we will just search for all the APKs we will install all three APKs so starting with digital well-being this is for the battery life and just the AI stuff of Android Pi there are heck a lot of things in terms of performance and battery life which you will enjoy cause Xiaomi is never giving us Xiaomi hasn't actually given us the Android 8.1 update yet it would be coming with MIUI 10 but Android 9 is never coming then the Google Play services install now as we install both the APKs, if you go to notification panel, as you can see, the notifications are gone. But if you tap over here, they just complete the setup. Now this will take around 5 to 10 minutes, so we will just fix all the stuff. So going to the home, let's just fix the MTP, which would be the connection between you and your PC. So for that, go over here, system, about phone, tap the build number few times. This will unlock the developer options. Also, let's just take a look at the Android 9. There you go, looks extremely beautiful on our Redmi 5 Plus or the Redmi Note 5 in India advanced developer options scroll down until you find default usb configuration select for file transfer and that's basically it it's auto so as you can see magix is actually installed just not the app was working so go into the modules plus sign allow go to the internal storage and select for v4.4 which is the mi2 camera close now that we installed this module magix is not just for the root or this specific models you can also download many good modules in the download sections for example if you are just search for gpu there is gpu turbo boost again amazing module again my next favorite would be force charge there you go force fast charge works great on moi 10 there you go now you can just hit reboot now that our phone is back up again let's just go to the menu there you go camera app let's just drag it over here open the camera as you can see you will get this error so you have to actually grant all the permissions so for that go to settings apps camera permissions grant everything mi2 camera fully working now let's just go back and complete the setup so for that pixel setup in progress there you go start connect to a mobile network i don't have any sim skip and yes the voltage is completely working even after reboots don't copy next pixel imprint pattern let's just keep it something simple Tap the fingerprint scanner and yes mine is actually good so your FPC must not have any kind of issue. There you go works like a charm. Hit next. Google assistant not now skip. No thanks. All set. And then we will add some additional pixel 3 touches. So for example let's just go to settings. Scroll down. System. Gestures. Now you will find over here pixel 3 options such as the ambient display and stuff. Lift to check phone definitely works pretty great. Then again you have swipe up for home button which is just pixel 3 gestures. Cause pixel 3 doesn't have actually nav bar. But yeah works pretty great as you can see lag free experience. And yeah guys that's pretty much it how you can install Android Pi 9.0 on your Redmi Note 5. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any kind of queries please let me know in the comment section below whether I or anyone else can help you. And if you want more Redmi Note 5 videos with MIUI 10 coverage please subscribe down there and soon the next one. Peace.